Welcome to Practice Update. I'm your host, Dr. Jennifer Cottle, and joining me today is Dr. Karen Jordan. Dr. Jordan, welcome to the program. Thank you. Well, we're so glad that you're here today. Um, let's talk a little bit about anti-emesis agents. Uh, Ruhlman et al. are reporting a sub-study of the GAND emesis trial at ESMO this year. What is the focus of the study, and what do the findings mean for patient care? Yeah, thanks for this question. This study is very, very important to the field of supportive care. For the first time, Christina Ruhlmann, in her oral presentation, will present us with data on the non-nausea rates, and especially if nausea has an impact of the daily functional life of patients receiving radiochemotherapy. First of all, the interesting point about this, in radiotherapy, we are focusing for a long period of time, meaning from day one, when the radiochemotherapy starts, until 35 days after the treatment ends. Hmm. So the patient will focus on a long period of time. So the question is, what does this study show to us, to the community? And actually, with the triple regimen, antiemetics consisting of phosphorapitant, a steroid and a 5-HG3 receptor antagonist, she was able to show a reduced impact of functional daily life. So this means we need an optimal antiemetic prophylaxis first to reduce the symptoms, and this also has a really high impact on the health-related quality of time. And again, this is really important, especially when you consider such a long period of time. Okay. So and this study as well will have a great impact and this study was practice changing and will give a new recommendation. Wow. Well, that's that's really quite wonderful and I think very important, especially with the quality of life implications it is indeed. that you talk about. Uh, Dr. Jordan, thank you so much for joining us today. Pleasure. And thank you for tuning in to Practice Update.